You also said this. From August 3rd, 1993, until this very moment, I've made it my goal to produce the best show that will go down in Lake County history. I'm a perfectionist by nature. I won't accept anything but perfection in every area of my life and career. As a result of the an evening with the Vance Rome Baker show, I've reached thousands among thousands of people. Other assessors have tried to mimic my original style. My show has gone down in the pages of Lake County history. My original God-given nature can't be compared with or matched. The public viewers will always remember that I was the only one to take total interest and bringing gospel music and down-to-earth gospel preaching to the homes of thousands through the media of television. Yeah. So you see, any minister that tries to dress up in a royal purple robe and gives credit to his hairdresser and designs all his own robes is trying to be another Lerone Baker. My show is marked and fixed in time. I resent that kind of behavior. No, no one can be better than me. I credit my success of the show to keeping a good image, not associating myself with certain people that aren't right and not worthy to look upon my face. I also resent ministers that try to prostitute the minds of the church and community with sex shows, dating games and flyers with the man calling a little girl while he's sexually aroused. I think it's distasteful and pure trash for a minister to promote that kind of garbage. The community doesn't need any education on sex and pornography. True. Cats and dogs know how to do it. Amen. The world just needs spirit-filled believers to live the life and be examples of true holiness. That's right. Now, I, um, be I believe that strongly. That was something that I, it just bothered me. And um, I, think, I think that we need to be careful what we do. Because people are watching. They're always watching. Even, even when I turn off my TV, you know, and cut off my light and go to bed, somebody is thinking on Lerone Baker. You know what I'm saying? What I may have said on television. And, and they're watching. You know, and, and for you to just, I think we need to be careful. I'm, I'm very concerned about my image. I always talk about, I, I let people know you get up off me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You get you somebody else to tear down. Because I know that I mean business with the Lord. And when I find, when I find myself in a position to where um, I feel I'm comfortable with individuals, I just turn them loose. Because I have a road to travel, and when you're traveling a rugged road, you got to take off anything that ain't really... <laughs> that's holding you Yeah, back. that's right. Weights and stuff. You say <laughs> that no one can be better than you. Do you mean that just simply No, I'm talking about no one can mimic my original style as far as what I do. I've seen people come back and try to say the same things I said. Mm. Or I like to thank my hairdresser for doing my hair. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When the credits, you ain't been doing it, so why do it now? You know what I'm saying? You want to do it until I got here, so what I do it now? I figured that if you, see, I know who I am. I keep telling people, if you, if you got something, you don't have to copy it off nobody. You got it anyway. I don't have to watch you to get no ideas, because I got my own ideas. But don't you think there's also a chance for people, everybody learns from someone. Oh, no, but see, I heard a minister say to, to emanate me to the point of jealousy, when you can go around and tear me down, then try to wear what I wear and do what I do, you, you aren't, you, you, you're jealous of me and want to be like me, but you want to pass it on as you. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Okay. You know, what I'm, it's a big difference than you admiring what I do and getting with me and want to know how to do it, than you tearing me down behind my back and grinning my face then trying to walk like me and talk like me and mimic what I see on your show. You can't do that. I'm not going to let you. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do it. Um, obviously your family is important to you. Tell that you must fight for the little things.